We are here at top of Parliament Hill because it was this view, this splendid view, that um, inspired me to write the words for the first song, the title track of the record, and um, yeah, just probably the most, uh, in, our, in terms of our heads, where the record was going stylistically and lyrically, the themes it kind of touched on, and I guess London uh, is a big, important presence on our album. So this is why we're here. It wasn't by design, but a lot of the lyrics on this album were more observational. So I was sat at home, um, not too far from here, really, looking at other people, really. And uh, rather than lyrics be personal like they've been before on like, previous records, it was more about other people in, in, in this place. So this is where I've been uh, to write all the songs. So it just kind of evolved that way. You ran with the dead today With the moles from the CIA They say more than you ever see Headlights in your rearview mirror A panther's eyes, he preys on fear You hunt for love, you election need We're at John Henry's in the centre of London, which is where I think pretty much every band that goes touring comes here to do some rehearsals. So you'll see all the pictures on the walls of people like Sting and Bob Geldof and everybody. I saw Chrissy Hine choosing number three today, actually. So yeah, but we were in Studio places. One. So, uh, hello. Suck it, Chrissy. You were the truth when you lied. It's about as different as it can be from our normal life setup, isn't it, today? Uh, yeah. Mm. We've got a lot of stuff when we go out on the road. Lots of cases, lots of keyboards, a lot more drums. There wasn't any there today, was there, It's just a lot louder, uh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, this was very stripped down today. I don't feel left out. It's actually quite nice to take a step back and actually watch them do what they do and listen to it in a good sounding room, and it, you know, it's impressive. You don't know love like you used to. If you're doing that kind of performance in front of an audience, I'll be more nervous than I would be from doing a full band gig. You know, obviously, because when we're on stage and it properly, it's like, it's a racket, and it should be a racket. It's rock and roll, it's loud, it's, but it's a different beast when you're playing it so exposed, I guess. You don't feel love like you did before. Ah, ah, ah. You don't know love like you used to You don't feel love like you did before You don't know love like you used to You don't feel love like you did before Like you used to. We all met at uh, Staffordshire University in Stafford. We all went to uni, kind of going to do a music course because that's what we were into, and uh, started a band. And then after that, moved to Birmingham. Spent quite a few years there, all working different jobs and learning kind of how to write songs and be better musicians and struggling a little bit. We spent a lot of that time living together in the same house as well, you know, from university and then moving on to Birmingham. Even though we were working day jobs, we were spending all of our time in the evenings together. And so sort of, it's not far off a decade, really, really. Yeah. It's pretty fucking terrifying. It, yeah, we, we used to go to a lot of gigs together at the Flapper and Firkin in Birmingham. Tom and Chris used to work the door a little bit. I used to do sound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used uh, to come and watch. <laughs> yeah, I used to come and watch. Uh, you know, uh, lots of good bands around at that time. And, uh, you know, so it was fun playing those small shows. This is the, the gig room at the Flapper and Firkin in Birmingham. 
and I'd like to say it's changed a lot since we were here back in 2005, but it hasn't. When we first got signed, the first single came out, it was our first proper tour we played here, and it was like uh, free entry, and there were people all the way up the stairs outside and all the way around the corner there, and uh, it was pretty much the most exciting night of our lives, really, wasn't it? <laughs> it was oh, well, yeah, to that date, it without a doubt. Proper, uh, proper moment, really. Yeah. It felt like all of Birmingham turned up in this little room to come and see us. It's quite sad, there's less and less touring bands coming through here now. Um, I think gigs at this level generally across the country are struggling, so it's a lot of cover bands that play here now, but um, um, you never know, that could change again. We struggle now to get our gear on the stage. <laughs> I would like to come and do something here. I don't know, acoustic gig might be nice in here. I'll, I'll be watching. <laughs> <laughs> again. <laughs> This is part of the canal area that we had our first sort of proper photo shoot done, really, by a guy called Pat Pope, who came up and took us to very glamorous locations across the Birmingham area. Mm -hmm. um, well, I guess, you know, that's what we wanted, something a bit gritty and urban. I think I the idea was bleak, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. pretty, pretty much bleak. But also, we're just a sort of stone's throw away from the NIA, which is really the other side of the coin to the flapper because that was by far the biggest UK gig we've ever done on our own. So, yeah, it's nice to come back and do something like that in the place where we call home, really. particularly magical when we first came together. It took a while for the magic to, uh, well, I don't know if there's ever been any real magic. <laughs> we were friends, that's what it was to start with. Um, the, the band kind of grew from that. It wasn't until we finished university that we really, really started to take it seriously. Yeah. So we really started to, you know, try to get a record deal, basically. And towards the end of uni, we, we'd written Bullets um, and a couple of other songs from that period that were either on the album or B-sides from the first record. So it wasn't like click. We worked at it, you know, it took time. They just want to have fun. Yeah, you always have uh, little moments as you, you know, start as a band. And, you know, we, we, we wrote Bullets and then we got a little bit of interest from, uh, you know, a big publishing company in London. They came up to see us and it was like, oh, this is really exciting. We got some management and they were, you know, really keen on the band and, you know, helped us a lot and still do. You know, then we get like a, a gig and um, first time on the radio. It's, it's all those little moments that just keep coming and, yeah. It's, uh, you know, builds up. I give a little to you, I give a little to him, I give a little to her. I give a little to you, I give a little to him, I give a little to her. A little bit for myself, don't put a price on your health, I give a little to her. I give a little to you, I give a little to him, I give a little to her.
probably stuck. Yeah. Yes. We haven't had a break really since we uh, finished recording the, the record. We've been doing a lot of promotion. It's been, you know, great really. People are still interested in us. So we took um, our first break uh, as a band after the second record. So like we had a bit of time and like me and Chris both live over in New York and uh, need a little bit of space I think just to you know get ideas get fresh and get kind of excited about music again and then when we came back here uh, we were a lot more productive and energetic I think uh, for that break. Yeah, we've got more stuff to talk about when we when we see each other again. Uh, you know, because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's been going on? Who's been doing what? I think we we're just excited about not just seeing each other again, but making music more important. Yeah, I still live here, so it's um, it's, it's not nice. like a treat. <laughs> it's nice to come back. We still like like when we were making the new record, we came back here and had nights out, didn't we? When we were rehearsing and stuff. Even though most of us have moved on, it certainly feels like this is our base. The last show we played in Birmingham was, was the opening of the new academy. It was the first night, and I think it, that was a real honour to be asked to open the new important venue for the Midlands. Um, we are now at the Jugger Vale, uh, which is pretty much in Moseley. Um, this, I think this is probably, or well, was, more of a legendary venue than the Flapper and Firkin. I mean, we played the Flapper a lot, but we played here equally upstairs. And uh, this was the scene of our first kind of shows where lots of industry and A&R turned up. So lots of really nerve-wracking gigs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, um, not the most fun of times, really. But, um, but this, this place is shut down now and kind of fallen into pieces. This whole area will be full of people drinking and I don't know, all the kind of like, indie kids or, you know, kids that are into music and stuff would come here on a Wednesday night and drink cheap beer and watch good bands. And I'm really, really fond of those times. Yeah, it was a fantastic place to be. And it's, you know, it's a bit upsetting to see it like this. They're not even developing here now. It's just, just rotting. So we're here at Cavabiche in uh, Moseley. This is where we've had many, uh, the beginning of many night out. It's also where we inked our record deal late 2004 yeah. um, with Kitchenware Records. So we came here for a curry and a celebration and to sign our deal. Kababish or Kebabish, depending on who you talk to, yeah. is probably where we have most of our team planning meetings, really. <laughs> it's where we plot out what we're going to do over the year. Although we come here an awful lot, the curry is brilliant. Make our escape, you're my own papillon. The world turns too fast. I think because we all, like, after we finished touring and as a start, went to do different things, whatever it may be, when, it, when we did get around to getting in the rehearsal room together, we did feel more focused than we'd ever felt before. But, you know, whatever we've been up to inspired us in some way to make this record. And uh, it didn't feel forced, it didn't feel hard work, it just felt like we were kind of just going for it, really. Darling, now don't put down your cards here. If there really was a God here, he'd have raised a hand by now. Now, darling, you're born, get old, and die. Well, that's quite enough for me, dear. We started to write a couple of tracks pretty much along similar lines of the last couple of records, and we knew very early on that we wanted to change things about, and Tom sort of thought about using different instruments, and just that simple switch from a guitar to a, something very much more electronic and synthetic was, I think, gave us all room to manoeuvre. Yeah, it was good for us. Oh, and it kicks like a sleep twitch You will choke, choke on the air, you try to breathe Yeah, I definitely think we'll, we'll use guitars again, you know, it's not like we, we can just throw them away, they just went to the background. I'm sure there'll be moments... Actually, there were moments on some of the songs that didn't make the record where the guitars were really heavy, heavier than they've ever been in editor songs before. So, I mean, again, metal, I doubt, but heavy. Definitely. I think we can be heavy. 
In an ISIS way, yeah. ISIS. Yeah, ISIS, yeah. Good. You're born at home and die here. That's quite enough for me to do. We'll find our own way home somehow. It kicks like a sleep twist. Like a sleep twist. We are in what used to be our manager's house. And they've since moved out, but um, there was a time, late 2004, early 2005, mm -hmm. when we were kind of touring on a budget, shall we say, where we didn't have any money because the deal we signed was really small. Um, Ed and Russell moved back to Russell's parents because they live about half an hour away. Mm -hmm. So you were living with Russell's mum and dad, and me and Chris were living here with our managers. And um, so we'd, we were touring the country in a split of van, and um, we'd come back and crash here, but there's not that much room here. For, but there's one spare room where Chris slept, but I slept on the floor. There. Um, for <laughs> under months. The under the dining room table. Yeah, which, which was, was here, also, yeah. We always drove back to Birmingham after gigs all across the country in yeah. a horrible rented split of van. And uh, so we got back really late, and we always had to unload all our gear in the rain, yeah. generally in the rain at about three o'clock in the morning, before trying to bed down <laughs> somewhere you're not really meant to bed down. So it's an important site in Birmingham. We were, t we were saying that it should have one of those blue plaques on the outside of it, a like little unassuming terrace in Cotteridge. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. The blindfold down So your eyes can see Now run as fast as you can If bands were, uh, you know, influenced by, you know, our first or second record, or you know, that's, that's, that's great. And uh, it's good that it made them pick up uh, guitars, but, or, you know, writing songs, being creative. Um, that's how it's always happened, so. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if we're, we're like relevant to some people in like 10, 15 years' time and they're going back through their uh, record collections. Success just means you can keep doing it, to me. It's not like we aim for any kind of level of, I don't know, sales or financial reward. Just to be able to uh, make more records, for me anyway. I like what we do, so um, just to keep doing it is a success for me. Someone turn me around Can I start this again? With our mouths wide shut You stopped us from singing I can't shake this feeling I've got My dirty hands have I been in the walls The saddest thing that I'd ever seen Was smoke Cause outside the hospital Someone turn me around Can I start this again? Now someone turn us around Can we start this again? We've all been changed 
from what we were A broken heart left smashed on the floor I can't believe here If I can't hear Here We've all been shamed from what we were. Our broken hearts smashed up the floor. We've all been changed from what we were. Our broken hearts smashed up. Proper music telly with a little bit extra. And just discovered this whole wealth of, of gems. Prime show.